Good afternoon, everybody. This is Arvin Mel 47, Robert Vermillion, coming to you from Dallas, Texas. Today is April the 12th, 2012. It is Thursday. Uh, I'm making this video at 12.51 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Uh, here's a picture of the uh, latest jet stream uh, forecast for today. And it, you can see the obvious, the Omega style block we have going on here. Um, this is a big storm out here that is is coming in shore onshore now. It has already caused some problems out in the west. Um, it's been causing this lead end of it has been causing severe weather uh, in West Texas, and um, that severe weather threat uh, is going to continue into today. And we'll look at the uh, convective outlooks momentarily. But as you can see, the uh, The strength of some of the winds in these are above 125 knots. Uh, so, and again, this is out at sea. So, as I've said before, there's uh, not a good. Uh, we don't have good data a lot of times because we don't send up balloons out in the water for the most part. We send them on on land where you see generally most of these wind feathers and stuff. But uh, again, this is just to give you an idea of there's a trough in the east, ridge in the central section of the United States, and the, the big storm coming in from the west okay on the water vapor satellite uh, it's pretty obvious to see again the storm coming into the west and uh, a vigorous one at that this is a powerful upper level low system um, again which is going to cause uh, severe weather to kind of march across the central sections of the US over the next few days including today also as this big storm system moves in there's a slight risk of severe thunderstorms and some uh, there was a tornado early, uh, yesterday reported in parts of california in this area where the storm system is moving in and that could be again the same case today um, again the, the section in the middle which is really the little bit of ridge is what we call a dirty ridge is um got some clouds and uh, moisture associated with it and has a pretty good moisture feed up uh, that keeps it setting the stage for our severe weather here you can uh, see gravity waves coming off of the as the moisture is spread over the mountains and then it bounces uh, it causes gravity waves and you can see those in those little lines right there uh, that just shows you that it's uh, the winds are pretty stout and as I showed you all ago uh, some of them in this area are probably in the 75 to 110 15 knot range again and it see how it backs up this way so again this is a storm system to watch it's got a very cold core upper low so it's gonna be making weather news over the next couple of days here's the day one convective outlook uh, which would be for today uh, again, the chance of severe weather, um, severe thunderstorms. This is the, the general uh, risk uh, extends from uh, the Pecos Valley all the way up into uh, Nebraska. And uh, we'll watch for uh, some uh, probably large, large hail. We had hailers yesterday in the panhandle that left some hail drifts at four feet high. So uh, a pretty good hail producing system. Again, cold air aloft will uh, cause that to happen. Uh, here's the slot risk I was talking about around Sacramento, uh, mainly uh, inland, uh, just kind of up against the mountains there uh, and, and in the valley. It's, uh, there is a slot risk of severe thunderstorms. Uh, it's rare that we see a slot risk posted for <laughs> portions of California but uh, again as I said yesterday a tornado did cause some damage out here uh, again main threats for here I'm looking for uh, some very large hail uh, some pretty damaging winds lots of lightning and uh, isolated tornadoes will be happening in this area again that was for today that is the tornado probabilities and again best shots are in looks like to be uh, western Kansas at that uh, highest wind probabilities are pretty much in the general same outline and hail probabilities go from eastern Oklahoma up into uh, the western Kansas and uh, southeastern Nebraska sections 
Okay, as the system moves in, again, this would be the upper level system itself back here. So in the green areas, thunderstorms are possible. Um, this is the impulses that are being shot out ahead of this main storm system. So we've got severe weather again from the Texas Panhandle up into um, parts of Iowa. Um, definitely the eastern, sec the eastern half of uh, Kansas, western Oklahoma, and again, uh, portions of northwest Texas, uh, general thunderstorm threat threat throughout the uh, green shaded area here. And again, this would be valid uh, for Friday tomorrow, which is Friday the 13th. Uh, Friday 13th and 14th into the 14th morning of Saturday. Okay, here's the day three outlook. And three days out, and they have uh, sectioned out an area for a moderate risk, which means it's elevated even higher than your normal slight risk. Um, they generally don't put the uh, just the categorical, you know, regular thunderstorms on this map when you go out day three. So, um, considering seeing this here, this is going to be a heads up because we could see a tornado outbreak uh, on Saturday for uh, much of central Oklahoma into eastern Kansas. Uh, and to uh, the northwestern sections of uh, my folks here in North Texas. Uh, this could be a, a relatively serious situation trying to set up right now because a lot of things are coming together, the winds are coming together, we've got the storm coming on shore again and bringing a lot of uh, good, good shear, wind shear, cross winds and high winds at the upper levels and um, We'll also have a better idea, uh, we'll be able to sample the air again as the storm system moves on shore. So uh, I just say people in this area need to just remember that Saturday, it, you better have severe weather plans, um, your, your preparations or whatever, because uh, there's going to be a, a pretty decent outbreak here in the uh, central, plain, central and southern plains. Okay, this is the day four outlook. This is a uh, valid for uh, uh, the fifteenth, um, which would be uh, Sunday, <laughs> tax day, yay. Um, but we do have a risk of severe thunderstorms, uh, especially for my folks here in um, the north central Texas area. Um, again, to get labeled as uh, you know, a potential area for severe weather, considering the day before is going to be pretty severe. We're either going to have a, a line of ongoing storms that moves in uh, Saturday night into Sunday, or we're going to have a Sunday afternoon thing. And uh, depending on what happens the previous day and what happens on Sunday morning, uh, we'll detail and decide what type of uh, severe weather to expect. Again, definitely. Uh, there's going to be the chance for uh, large hail, damaging winds, isolated tornadoes, uh, a little bit of everything. It, again, this is kind of is a carryover from uh, Saturday's weather into Sunday, and this is for the all-day Sunday. So again, we we'll just have to keep our uh, keep our eyes open and uh, keep our NOAA weather radios close because. Um, it's that time of the year. It's springtime, and uh, we've, you know, we've we're already kind of gun shy here in Dallas after having our tornadoes, the our tornado outbreak the other day, which was, uh, well, I say cool, and it's not cool. It's because people's houses got damaged. No one died, and which is a good thing, because uh, we had plenty of warning. But um, so we're still going, but see, people are going to be gun shy now because we just had these tornadoes down here. So again, Saturday and Sunday. For my folks here in uh, uh, North Texas, there will be a days to keep keep your eyes out for severe weather. Uh, this is a graphic from the National Weather Service showing uh, that Saturday, again, the severe weather threat goes from uh, the middle of the, the DFW area all the way back into West Texas. Again, remember Saturday I showed you on the uh, graphic outlook or uh, convective outlook earlier here's the moderate risk of severe weather uh, so uh, um, the tornado outbreak at this point looks to stay north of uh, the county warning area or the DFW Metroplex here 
uh, mainly in the northwestern sections. And again, this is Saturday. Sunday, we move all this over uh, this way, and uh, we'll know more as we get more data to see if we need to extend that uh, moderate uh, risk into our area on uh, Sunday. Anyway, so that's uh, a pretty good look at uh, what's going on out there. Uh, severe weather outbreak uh, looks to be coming together for definitely Saturday and uh, could uh, go ahead and end up making it all the way into uh, Sunday also. So uh, people just uh, please keep your uh, weather radios on standby. That's the, the best thing you can do uh, and keep your... TV or radio, regular radios on, but be sure you're listening to local stations uh, if you're getting wanting weather information. Because if you're listening to a generic station from wherever somebody else or, or a satellite station, it's not going to it's not going to tell you if something is uh, really headed your way. Now, some cable systems will break in, but only if when it's like imminent will you get the emergency broadcast. But Again, weather radio is your best bet. Everybody needs it. All hazards weather radio. Here's a new map that I may show you occasionally, and this is actually from uh, Encore, which is the electricity service provider for these areas outlined in blue. So West Texas, a small portion of West Texas, and then definitely the Dallas Fourth Metroplex and surrounding areas. So uh, it's a pretty cool map. It tells you where the outages are and generally maybe what has caused them and anticipation of when uh, service will be restored. But right now we're looking at just minimal uh, generic uh, outages. You know, power outages happen all the time. Uh, so this will be something to I'll keep an eye on, especially as uh, we go have some severe weather break out into the area. Uh, this will be the place to look, and uh, you can find this at uh, it's stormcenter.oncore.com, and Oncore is O-N-C-O-R. Again, they are the electricity pr service provider for these two areas in Texas. Uh, for again, the Midland, Odessa, West Texas area, and Dallas, Fort Worth, and Waco. Uh, in North Texas. Okay, it, that's it. Uh, everybody, stay on guard. Keep your um, eyes to the sky and your ears to the weather radio just uh, so you know what's happening and what's going on. Don't get caught by surprise. And I guess that's all I can probably manage to say right now because I'm just rambling now. So, anyway, again, this is Robert Vermillion from Dallas, Texas. Y'all have a good one.